And so right next door is Willie Nelson and Friends Museum and General Store. So I absolutely love Willie Nelson. I don't know who doesn't love Willie. And it's so great that there's a Cooters there. And then there's a Willie Nelson right here. Willie Nelson and family. Oh, they even have a Willie Pappy. I think Willie wants you to get a fortune here. Hey there, this here's Willie Nelson. And it must be your lucky day because I have some words of wisdom for you. Listen up now. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Yep, that's right. It's a whole lot better to say just a little bit of something positive than to say too much of the negative and wish you hadn't. You know what I'm saying? Stick around. I've got lots more to say to you. Yeah. Well, Willie was sounding a little, a little bit off today, wasn't he? <laughs> but he did give us a fortune. This place is big and there is a lot. This shirt is really cool. It's got, looks like it's Nashville in his glasses and it says, have a nice day. And yeah. He looks like a bobblehead, don't he? Yeah, he kind of looks like a bobblehead. Have a really nice day. They got a lot of Jack Daniels merchandise in here. You don't even have to go to Lynchburg to buy some. I uh, highly recommend going to Lynchburg, though. That was a lot of fun. They even have some of their, their bottles and that. You could even get a Jack Daniels hat. You see that? I didn't know that Jack made his his own hats. And they got a crazy gift shop in here. Everything Tennessee. Well, check this out, Dawn. There's like a, it's like Elvis's um suit he'd wear, but it's just like I a t-shirt. Yeah, it's pajamas, but it's like Elvis's suit. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's just pajamas. I got peanut butter and banana taffy. I love Johnny Cash. Too bad it wasn't signed for real by him. The, the original American icon. It's a it's a throw with Willie on it. Only if Willie was president. Yeah, Johnny Cash. And they also have Walk the line over here. Yeah, you can even look like Willie. <laughs> That's cool. Now we're going to head into the museum. It's $10 a person. And. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, this is Willie's museum. We're in a place, everything Willie. <laughs> you know, Willie has done so much throughout his career. He's pretty much played with everyone. Uh, he's played everything. He's done everything. I think he's even even had the feds after him, probably multiple times, but <laughs> yes. He's kind of like the modern day outlaw, but yet loved by everyone. And you know what? This is great. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and here we are, we're here. Here's a photo of Willie checking his and others mail at his home in near Ridgetop, Tennessee. He looked a lot different then, didn't he? A lot younger too. In recent years, Willie had run-ins with the federal government and uh, the IRS made him sell a lot of his, his properties and stuff that he owned. Pretty much went penniless, but somehow he's still out there making music and living that, well, that rock star life. And again, when you're good and you you're good at something, I guess you can always make your way no matter even if Uncle Sam takes everything you have. Willie supports farmers and here's some of the awards he got. He even got one from the FFA and he did uh, farm aid and Willie was a dedicated runner throughout the years. That I didn't know about him. And there's a pair of his shoes there. So here's some of Willie's whiskey. I got some of his clothing, a vest he wears, and 
Even his famous bandana that we all know him wearing. And it's even signed by him. There's a, a guitar strap there. Ernest Tubb gave Willie that hat. So that was Ernest Tubb's hat. Here's one of many of awards he's won over the years. He's got some CMAs. He's got a Grammy for On the Road Again. Best Country Song of 1980. November the 23rd of 1963, Willie took the stage at the Grand Old Opry. And this whole case here is dedicated to his friend, Waylon Jennings. And, uh, and he's got everything there. He's got his glasses and uh, even his, his hat up there. Oh, Waylon Jennings. They were just good old boys, not mean and no harm. And that links to, well, next door. And there's Waylon's Louis Vuitton garment bag. And it's well worn, you can tell. And it took a beating, you know, it's all frayed there. And, and even his passport is in here. No way. Wow. And so I got some of Barbara Mandrell's um, costumes here, or her, some of her dresses. Uh, she was a, a little gal, kind of like Dolly. Of course, we all know sassy Tanya Tucker. And they got her her outfit here, too. It's not just Willie in here. They have dresses and, and from everyone. It's kind of like a museum for country, country music. music. Yeah. And they got some really cool stuff in here. You know, uh, of course, you got little, little Jimmy Dickens right there. And I and, uh, got uh, Tanya Tucker, Tammy Wynette. Just a lot of cool stuff. Kitty, Kitty Wells. Wow. So they have Hank Williams. Um, suit jacket in here and you see him in this photo wearing it and Hank Williams jr. You know he hangs out and he parties with everybody in the country industry and yeah, he's right here Dottie West and Kenny Rogers of course we all know Kenny Rogers sung islands in a stream with Dolly in the center of the room is Willie's pool table he had it made for him it's all custom made yeah, it says right there Many famous musicians had played a, a game of pool on this table with Willie himself. Could you imagine if this, if this table could talk? Yeah, even some bronze <laughs> Willies. So this is the original booth and table from Tootsie's. And uh, looks like everybody has, has signed the top of this. But it was uh, from downtown Nashville here. And here's also a jacket worn by Ronnie Millsap. And that's a Braille edition of Playboy. Braille edition. So Playboy had a Braille edition for people who can't see. I wonder what that was like. You feel, I don't know. Look at it. It's kind of like, yeah. Is it like a real book? Or? Well, yeah. It's, 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 it's a Braille edition of Playboy, Dawn. So you think there's actually pictures of them in there? Well, I think you feel like the pictures. Oh, Braille for blind. Blind people. Oh, now I get what you're saying. <laughs> well, yeah. That's really neat. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Well, I mean, they, they use their fingers and they can feel You know, the, words. the one thing I'm going to say is that you're not going to get busted at school with for having nasty photos, right? Because they're in Braille. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that would work either. I don't know. Willie. This museum has got it all. It's even got Dolly's dress in here. Oh, we got Marty Stewart, Connie Smith. We got Porter Wagner. And Dolly got her start on his show. They said it was one of the best country shows out there. And here's one of the, I think this is one of the actual, like, film. Like, the film from... Is actually in there. WCYB. The one thing about Porter Wagner is he had some of the coolest suits, uh, all rhinestoned and studded. And it was a perfect fit for Dolly because Dolly's all about rhinestones and that too. And then they have some of, um, looks like Dolly's dresses, maybe from, maybe this one here is from uh, the Porter Wagner show. But um, yeah. And here's Norma Jean. Speck Rhodes. Yep. Speck Rhodes, yes. 
Oh wow, yes, that is definitely Spec Roads yeah. with the uh I guess with the I checkered. Remember Jean had a player press on. Yeah. And then the Wilburns. Yeah. You know, for for ten dollars a person, this museum cool. is well worth it. I mean, this is like big time quality. Like this should be, you know what I'm saying? And this is great. This is a, definitely a hidden gem if you're into into country music. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. But I mean, there's everything here. There's Willie, but then Willie's friends are all here. And just like I said earlier. You know, Willie played with everybody. Willie has sung every song ever imagined. Um, he's hung out. He's hung out folks with, that do jazz to folks that do hard rock and roll. You know, and uh, this this here has just got. I mean, it's hard to cover it all. We're not even. We're just showing you glips. You know, little blips of it. There's just so much here. It's hard to even. Sh I mean, it would take forever to show you it all. Here's, here's a picture of Willie Nelson and Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones just showing you he's pretty much played with everyone. Sheryl Crow, I mean, and it goes on and on and on. And then just recently, Willie was in Pigeon Forge at Dollywood shooting a, a movie with him, and um, they were caught riding around on a golf cart and just laughing and tearing it up. And Bobby Bear, Mel Tillis, and David Allen Coe, take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. This came from his recording studio. And just look at the those chairs. Very, very unique. I imagine all the folks that sat in these chairs, too. museum 10 bucks to get in yeah if you're in nashville definitely check it out it was a lot of fun uh, great gift store just a lot of fun but folks that's going to do it for today here in nashville tennessee here at the willie nelson museum if you guys like this vlog Give it a thumbs up. also if you haven't please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming road trip adventures and until next time thanks for watching bye everyone